Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, that passionate traditional artist himself, Jeff Mueller. Thank you, Xavier. We're in a more yeah. subdued, mellow mood tonight. Yes, yes we are. More of a, a, what would you say, a, not a, what, what was sophisticated. I was looking for sophisticated. Yeah, or, or just dead tired from all the yard work I did today. <laughs> One of the two. Yeah, but we're here again on a, a Sunday night. A our beautiful Sunday night. day. Yeah. Oh, we, the the, the first in a while. spring slash summer day. Actually, the weekend. whole weekend was nice. We started out down at first Friday in downtown Canton, Friday night. It was and it was very pleasant to walk around and everything and got some coffee there at, uh, what's the name of the place we like to go to? Um, we'll give them a plug. What was it? Uh, Cultured Coffee. Cultured Coffee, yes. Yeah, uh, shout out to Cultured Coffee. Great job. Um, and then, uh, you know, Saturday was just a beautiful day. Although I did, you know, I was working inside as well as outside and uh, today was just today was just nothing to nothing to kick about there. It's a great day. Jeff, you were in Wisconsin. Did you have a good trip? Yeah, great trip. Uh, the probably the since I've been here, we've been in Ohio now for 11 years, and in those 11 years, usually when I go back, it's full of stress and family issues and where I gotta. But it was a perfect. It was a per, another a very very stressless trip. Uh, I'd awesome. like to say that, that brings me to right now. Uh, I've been doing a lot. I did some a good amount of travel, and there's been a lot of things in my life that have been taking me away from the painting process. And it's really easy when you are obsessed and you are in a groove to stay creative. I mean, that is the easy part. You get into that, and all you want to do is paint, and you could spend hours upon hours working on, for instance, this was a 325-hour painting, and I was able to probably in the last month, uh, the last two or three weeks put in a lot of effort. I was in the groove. But I'm working on a new painting at the moment. Uh, right now, I call it, I'm calling it a crossroads. But this painting is very... Um, it's 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 a new thing for me. I'm I'm working on an uh, surrealistic painting. We we've, we've we've been over this. I haven't got much further. But what I did, what I found that when you get out of the groove, like where a lot of stuff is um, pulling you away. And one of the things that I'm starting to work on is an email mailing list and learn Mailchimp, and I'm going to be doing that. That's something I did to try and jumpstart the creativity. I also have been pr producing certificates, uh, catching up on my certificates of authenticity. Now, I've had some uh, people tell me that it that certificates of authenticity might not be the best way to go because of uh, what you, what that means to a collector. You know, you're telling them that it's authentic type thing, and I and I understand that thinking. Uh, my thinking of a certificate of authenticity and the importance of me as far as a, a digital artist uh, or a traditional artist who is producing digital artwork and then adding traditional painting to it, uh, when I do that, that, I think the importance of the certificate of authenticity really becomes very important because this is what I stamp the original. This is my stamp saying this piece that matches this holograph and this certificate is the original. It's the one of a kind of original. Anything else that even when I'm when I when I pass on or whatnot, it kind of proves that they're not going to be producing. The, I could have some of this stuff produced digitally, and they could make prints, and they can do things like they do with the Mona Lisa, or the, not that, that I'm comparing some masterpieces. But and when you go on, I want to make sure that everybody knows what the paintings were. Now, if you're producing a painting and it's a one of a kind uh, acrylic that you're pr producing on a canvas. That's the one of a kind. I mean, that's just it. But when you add in the digital aspect of it, I really think the certificate of authenticity is necessary. It's vital, put, given yeah, the put, nature of the medium. Put, 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 put the stamp on what is the original. Because then if someone else starts printing out, for instance, I have five signed prints. They won't be signed. But someone could get a hold of this after I'm gone and print out 150 of them or 200. It, it's, it, this is just my way of saying... Jeff Mueller is approving this, and he this is what he did with his artwork when he was in control of the artwork. It's not a duplication. Right, and that's exactly what that's for. Then the last thing that I did was I did some research today, 
um, I did some research to keep to get going, and I was looking on my I have an Art Authority uh, program on my iPad. I love the download it. It's called Art Authority. It's well worth it. You have pr pretty much all the artwork of the world at the tip of your fingers, and you can study each artwork, each artist's artwork. It has mo majority of the bodies of work of a lot of artists, and it really is a good educational piece. So I was looking in into the Dali. Um, what I was looking to do because I was kind of a little bit stumped with uh, Crossroads and being stumped right here is the we'll go back to it uh, right here okay being stumped I really didn't know so I started studying some of the the non Dolly's um, work that's not as popular and I really started to get the inspiration as far as the feelings and his colors and so Really, that kind of jump-started me to where I'm really kind of chomping at the bit to get back at that painting because it really got the creative juices of, of what I was going to do and how I was going to deal with some of the situations and how he deals with some of the landscapes. And I was worried about some of the stuff that was going on. So that is the kind of things that you can do as an artist to just jump-start yourself. Uh, go, go visit a place and, make, and have them show you their process of making some prints. That can get it, get it going again. Uh, printing and getting caught up on certificates of authenticity and then doing some research on what you might want to do as far as uh, you know what the medium and what you're doing and what other artists have done and it's really kind of inspirational and jump started you know it jump started me back into my creative mode and I think next week I'll be putting some good timing on the painting get this finished so that's what I wanted to cover this week I think we did a it was a good video blog again of course, it's outstanding from our perspective. <laughs> some, so I just, I just have a feeling based off of my whole life enlightening experiences that I've been experiencing lately that there's going to be some big changes coming in my art career and my life. And that's to be coming and we'll talk about that in the future. Excellent. Have a good week, folks. Have a good one.